What is up guys, Divin here and in my previous video, which I just filmed half an hour ago, but you probably saw it a little longer ago. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. I showed you guys how I'm sampling from my pocket operator. I'm sampling loops, sampling stuff, chopping it up, rearranging it. I sampled those loops into my Machina Plus. And in this video, we're gonna make a full track actually four full tracks for an entire EP. It's just inside the Machina Plus with samples that I made with my, what is the thing called? PO33. That's pretty dope. If you're wondering where I am, if you're a returning watch viewer of my channel, if you're a returning watcher of my channel, I'm in an Airbnb in Sweden right now. My wife and I, together with our daughter and our dog, we just moved to Sweden, so everything is still a bit temporary, but we're gonna move into our own apartment in four weeks, or when you're watching this, probably a little bit less time, or we're already in there. Who knows? So, so far this is a very temporary setup. I'm filming all of this on my GoPro. So excuse the flimmering lights and all of that, but um, don't worry, there will be better audio and video and everything sooner than you can think. But so far, hey, this is all lo-fi, so a lo-fi image quality just matches the vibe. Anyways. I'm gonna show you real quick how my idea of laying out this EP just basically within one project on the Machina Plus. So I'm not gonna make one project as usual for every song that I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make one whole project for the entire EP. So that's pretty cool and that's a first for me as well. But um, I just came up with a concept which I'm gonna show you really quick. So the way everything is set up is I've got two groups so far. One is, hold on, my camera is falling. So the way everything is set up is I've got two groups so far. One is my four samples, first song, second song, third song, fourth song. And then on the second group, I've got some drum samples. And that is for each song, I made one row of drum samples. They're not complete yet, so you can see I don't know how well you can see that with this flimmering light. This is for the first song, song I've got a kick and a snare. For the second song, I've got a kick and two snares. Third song, kick, two snares. And fourth song, one snare drum. I'm gonna add some hi-hats. Uh, and I'm probably also gonna add another group over here with percussion samples and another one with, you know, bass line. Another one with something on top. And that's probably it. It's gonna be super chill and easy. So pattern wise, I've got four patterns. Each song has one pattern. And so far I made intros. So basically, so far it's only the sample playing. That's the first song, the second song, the third song, and the fourth song. And each song will have four patterns. So first song, the intro will be here. Then I'm gonna duplicate that up, make this the verse. Wait, camera is falling again. This will be the verse of the second song, so I can duplicate that one up here as well. Verse of the third song and the verse of the fourth song. Then I'm gonna put a chorus here and maybe some C part or something over here. And then probably play the intro again as the outro. So that's my super simple way of laying out an entire EP just within one project in Machina. There's probably smarter ways of doing this, but this is what I came up with on the fly. This is just what I, I was like, okay, yeah, this is how we're gonna do it. So this is how we're gonna do it. So, you know, I'm just gonna start recording my first patterns. And unfortunately, you can't hear what I'm recording because I did not set up an output from my machine. So I'm just gonna fast forward that. So here we go, let's start.
that is it so far of how I am laying out my paths. I hope this gave you guys a little quick a quick little insight into my workflow. What I can tell so far, what I really liked about this process is I could really compare the songs super quickly. Like I could see, especially when making an EP, how they flow into each other, how they sound when playing one song and then how the next song will sound. So in terms of making a cohesive sounding EP, this is a really cool technique. I really enjoy the combination of the PO33 samples and then continuing the workflow on the Machina Plus. So that's really cool and that's all I imagine it to be like. I'll keep you guys updated in the process of making this EP. So I'm definitely gonna make more videos. So if you're new here, it's a good. This would be a good time to. This would be a good time to subscribe. And as promised in my first video, after I made this EP, I'm also gonna make another video where I'm gonna show you the entire process from scratch, um, starting with how I'm sampling into the SP how I'm sampling into the PO33 and rearranging these samples to make, you know, a loop on this thing. Um, there's tons of videos on that already on YouTube. So I figured I'll start where I started. I'm also gonna link the first video of the series at the end of this video. And the next video will be, what will it be? And the next video will probably be recording bass lines and some melody of type or some sparkly stuff on top of those beats. So if that sounds like something you want to see, once again, subscribing would be smart. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.